If you keep hitting the Windows key when you don't mean to, especially during a video game, you probably wish there was a way to disable it. Don't yank that key out just yet. It's not that hard to disable it using software. The Local Group Policy Editor is an advanced tool that allows an administrator to modify settings for multiple users or computers on the same network. One of these settings includes turning off the Windows key. Even though the tool is meant for managing a network of computers, you can also use it for specifying settings for a single computer, namely the one that you're using. The only catch here is that if you're using the home edition of Windows, this method won't work because the group policy editor is only included in the pro and enterprise editions of Windows. But don't worry, we'll show you a solution soon. Now, to access the group policy editor, type gpedit.msc in the search bar and then press enter. The local group policy editor will open in a new window. On the left-hand pane are all the setting categories you can access. Navigate to Administrative Templates, Windows Components, File Explorer. You'll see a list of settings in the right-hand pane. Scroll down until you find the Turn Off Windows Key Hotkeys option and then double-click it. In this new window, toggle the radio button to Enabled and then select OK to save the changes. And that's it. Every user on this computer will no longer be able to use the Windows key anymore. You can always enable it again using exactly the same process. Now, what if you don't have the policy editor? You're going to have to use a third-party application. AutoHotKey is one of the most well-known and robust tools for modifying the function of any key on your keyboard, or the mouse for that matter. It's lightweight, uses negligible system resources, and is quite easy to use. This makes it a great choice for using alongside other applications as it doesn't interfere with their functioning. Many gamers use AutoHotKey to implement custom hotkeys without any performance lag or whatsoever. There are two things you can do with AutoHotKey. You can either disable your Windows key entirely or you can remap it to a different function. To begin, first download AutoHotKey from its official site. Now run the setup file and install it to your computer. Go to any directory on your computer and right-click on the empty space. In the menu that appears, head to New Auto Hotkey Script. You can name this script file anything you like. Right-click on the file and then select Edit Script. Don't worry, you don't have to write any sort of esoteric code. Just clear everything and enter the following into the script file. lwin colon colon return. Once you save the file and exit, you can start using the script right away. Simply double click on the script and the Windows key will be disabled. To enable it again, right click on the AHK system tray icon and select exit. Instead of disabling it, if you want to remap the Windows key to something else, you just need to replace the return in the script with the key you want instead. For example, this is how you can remap the Windows key to function as the enter key. Just type in lwin colon colon enter. You also have access to a complete list of all the key codes for every button on your keyboard and mouse. For even more ways to disable the Windows key, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.